Nearly all conduits used for right ventricular outflow tract reconstruction require replacement due to stenosis and or insufficiency, especially in infants and young children. Since the mid-1980s, cryopreserved homographs have been the conduit of choice in the United States for RVOT reconstruction. Due to less than ideal performance, potential for immunogenicity, cost and limited availability of homographs, alternate prosthetic conduits have been developed over the years. Since 2008, our institution has been using handmade bicuspid valve PTFE conduits using standard stretch PTFE graft and 0.1 millimeter thick PTFE membrane for RVOT reconstruction. This video demonstrates our technique. We use various size of conduits, predominantly from 8 millimeters to 14 millimeters in diameter. This graph shows the correlation between conduit size and body surface area. The curved line shows normal pulmonary valve size by Rowlett. Based on this table, for each conduit size, a width of a sinus, height of the sinus, width of the cusp, height of the cusp, and a fan is created on a 0.1 millimeter PTFE flat patch. This will be utilized to create the design of each valve. This cartoon shows the steps to make a bicuspid valve conduit. At first, a polytetrafluoroethylene conduit with standard stretch wall is turned inside out. The previously created PTFE leaflets are then sutured to the inside of this conduit. First, the triangular portion is secured using interrupted 7O polypropylenes at each point. Note that the conduit has a small non-valve portion at the bottom where the two leaflet edges do not overlap. This represents 15% of the circumference of the conduit, allowing for minimal amount of regurgitation, which should prevent thrombus formation at the base of the valve sinuses. The remainder of the PTFE valve is then sutured to the inside wall of the conduit using a running 7O polypropylene suture. The slight excess left on the valve leaflets depicted by the stippled area allows for some redundancy, thereby preventing any leaflet restriction during securing the leaflet to the PTFE conduit. Additionally, the fan left at the top of the leaflets allow for improved surface area for coaptation. The completed valve is then inspected. After completion of suturing the two cusps, the conduit is turned back outside. Great care is taken at this juncture not to inadvertently damage the leaflets.
Commissural support is augmented by using two interrupted polypropylene mattress sutures. The leaflets are tested with saline loading to ensure competency in the closed position. Construction of the valve is now completed and is ready for implantation. It has been our policy to place the valve portion of the conduit distally, leaving just a few millimeters of conduit wall beyond the top margin of the PTFE cusps. The proximal end is then trimmed appropriately to match the opening in the RVOT.